Hey Aries, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. This is your bonus reading. How do they feel about you and how do they see you at this time? This messages may not resonate for each and every one of you, but hopefully there is something here that you guys are able to take away from this reading. I have been pre-shuffling these cards as well as premeditating prior to recording this video. For cross watchers, I might also be picking up on your energy here. So kindly take whatever resonates and leave out what doesn't as well. Okay. Take all the information with a grain of salt. All right. So Aries, let's get right into your reading. Spirit, we want to know how do they truly feel towards Aries at this time? What is their true feelings towards Aries at this time, please? One more shuffle. All right, let's see. Father of Pentacles, the Tower, the Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands. Okay, let's start with this card's first Aries. And I'm really drawn to the Five of Cups. Intuitively, I'm picking up that this person is definitely regretting. Deep down, they have this void in their heart. They are feeling bad about whatever has happened between the two of you. They also feel um, that they're regretting the things that they've said and they've done. It was something that was maybe not well thought of here. A reckless decision here is what I'm getting. They also have somebody new in their life or there's something new going on in their life, Aries. But they also feel this quite incomplete feeling that it's just not quite the same without you. Or maybe if this is somebody trying to move forward, they go back and forth thinking of the wonderful memories that you both have shared. They feel like it's just not quite the same. Okay. So this is a burden on their shoulder with the nine of wands. Um, I'm also getting here that their defense mechanism is to keep this all in. They're trying to suppress these feelings. They're not giving it a voice and they're not speaking about these feelings. But this is the energy of suppressing it. And so they could be having a lot of dreams about you guys because the more that they suppress this, the more that these feelings get stronger. Okay. And they know that in order to get back to a place of clarity and stability, they need to release these feelings. They need to express them. Okay. But with the nine of wands, this can also mean that they were putting up some walls. They were trying to block you guys off because they don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to explain or they don't know how to establish communication after what has happened between the two of you. It was something that probably has caught them off guard, Aries. They feel like they did not expect this. They did not see this coming. And quite frankly, they're still here in this energy trying to understand why the situation turned out this way, okay? There could be some feelings of confusion or resentment or just lack of acceptance, okay? The tower can also mean that um, they could have some anger issues or they feel like they're angry about the outcome. They feel angry with themselves or maybe they're blaming universe. Why did this happen to us? Okay. But something has been also exposed. Okay. We're going to clarify these cards in a while. You guys could be dealing with an earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They don't really do so well with verbally expressing these feelings. And this could be something quite unhealthy for them or dangerous, to be honest. Um, if they keep on carrying this baggage for a long period of time, they might not see that they already are isolating themselves or they could be holding back here from something new, right? The Five of Cups means they're too focused on the past disappointment. Um, it just feels like they need some closure here as well, Aries. They feel they need closure, but they could also be avoiding initiating that closure, okay? That's why they feel the sense of burden. Now, we're going to get more cards here. We have the Ace of Wands. Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands here. And the Mother of Cups. So I'm just going to mention the sign real quick. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or that Earth sign over here. Okay? Or it could be also a Leo with the Sun card at the bottom of the deck. So your person is in the process of healing, mostly in the mind, Aries. They feel like they're trapped with all these doubts and fears that they have, okay? And they want to be able to free themselves in order to, you know, move forward and look brighter to the future. Because at the moment, they, they are quite in the dark about this whole thing. 
it feels like rather fresh to them even though this may have already happened in the past they feel like it just happened yesterday and each and every time they're reminded of that they can't help but feel the surge of feelings you know it's it's a little bit of everywhere kind of feeling one moment they're angry the next they're upset then the next they're missing you okay so it's a little bit of a scattered energy now with the ten of wands because they're dwelling too much on the past aries they also know that their path is currently obstructed if they keep going on in this kind of energy they also feel like they want to release this burden okay from a nine of wands to a ten of wands wow i'm also getting here that if they already have somebody new in their life with the ace of wands because they're focused on you the other person feels like it could be a one-sided situation and so the burden that they're carrying around here not being able to heal with the breakup or separation the two of you may have is them already carrying the baggage to this new relationship Okay, that's why the tower here means releasing old structures, old patterns, outdated beliefs, okay, or old pain from the past. It's that moment of shaking up or awakening. The reason why this person is still carrying this um, baggage over here is that they refuse to acknowledge these feelings. Maybe there's a little bit of pride and ego getting in the way. All right, so their defense mecha mechanism maybe is to jump into a new relationship the ace of wands they feel as though they can find comfort there aries they're trying to distract themselves okay this could just be work as well okay father of pentacles and ace of wands they're trying to keep, keep themselves busy just to get you out of their mind or out out of their um, headspace because if they do really get too caught up with this it's going to really distract this person altogether they feel quite um scattered that's what i'm getting nine of cups this person feels like they want to start all over again with you guys they want a sense of um a clean slate is what i'm getting but it just feels like that's because they don't know how to deal with the separation and so because they're not getting their wish fulfillment here right they could be trying to pass that baggage to somebody else with the mother of cups but they're not truly being intimate with this person. See, they're closing off. That's what I'm seeing with the cards. So I feel like in general, your person needs to be enlightened in the mind. This can also mean getting help from somebody, talking to somebody. You see, there's not a lot of sword in this reading, Aries. This can suggest that you both definitely are not in contact for a while now. Or when it comes to these feelings they have for you and in whatever happened in the past, they're no longer talking about this, but they haven't fully healed. Okay. Now, let's see. We're going to clarify these cards. I'm using here the spiral to row. Why is the father of pentacles here, please? The devil. Capricorn energy. The wheel of fortune. So they feel quite trapped. They feel like they haven't fully released the cycle here. The relationship. They feel as though you both have unfinished business, Aries. They could also be in this pessimistic energy. Like they look back in the past and all they feel and all they see is all this drama that has played out. Maybe this is also their way of distracting their mind. They're painting it as, as a bad image, a bad picture. They're focused too much on what went wrong here. The pain that they felt. But they don't see that with the Wheel of Fortune already, there are new transformative energies coming in to release this person from the devil energy, from all that low vibrational emotions and feelings. And also attachment. They're definitely attached to this Aries. But I'm also getting that there is some energy of obsession. They're obsessing about this. Energetically, they're really obsessing about this. Let's see. Why is the tower card here, please? We have the moon card. So your person could also be feeling quite moody these days. One moment, it's like they want to make it up with you guys in the past. And, you know, heal the relationship the next. They're not quite sure. The Three of Pentacles means they for sure want to be 
acknowledged by you they want you to notice them it also feels like their motivation right now aries is that they want to be better they want to be better they want to show off probably that they're better off without you again they're distracting themselves wow but they have you in their dreams a lot they're also having dreams that you both can work it out they have dreams that you guys will notice them again and they also have dreams that you're you're going to be the one to approach them whoever this person is okay could be a piscean as well we have the ace of swords so this person feels like they do want to get the clarity and the truth out so finally all of this feelings and uncertainty can come to an end king of swords wow so the way that they deal with with communication is that they could be rather spiteful aries or too direct too straightforward this is also somebody who feels like they can't show weakness they can't show it aries as much as they can they need to be stern about their feelings they need to be firm but won't show that they regret anything in the past they're going to keep insisting that this was a choice that they're willing to take being away from you that they can live with the consequences but truthfully they feel they're missing the past they're regretting it let's see why is the nine of wands here knight of wands and the eight of wands so like I said, sooner they will be able to express these feelings in one way, shape, or form, okay? Eight of Wands means communication, fast-moving news. Um, this can also mean social media. You might be hearing from this person soon. But just be careful if they're coming across too direct, straightforward, or even spiteful. I don't know if this is someone who I feel wants to brag their success once they come around again. They don't want to show that they're weak and that they have been feeling down right now. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles, they want to seem to reinvent themselves again. But this is a clear indication that they're projecting this Aries. I see a lot of projecting here. They want to project an image that they're better off without you, but truthfully, they're hurt. But it gives them a sense of satisfaction that they're able to reinvent themselves and maybe because they've been hurt too much that's why their defense mechanism is to cut people right away to become rather cold okay now we have the princess of swords the full card and the temperance there could be a gemini libra or aquarius that's also new in their life or a sagittarius that's helping them heal it seems like a pretty relatively new relationship that's helping them recover or keep back in balance but also like I said this obsession of getting information about you maybe they feel like they need to gather all the information so they can heal because there's this pride and ego getting in the way and they don't want to be the first ones to approach you so in whatever way that they can get some information about you guys they are but not among friends and family this maybe is a stalking energy okay why is the nine of cups here please nine of cups wow so they may have portrayed the selfish behavior they wanted you so bad aries they wanted to manifest this relationship with you in the past they also did not want to lose you but now that it seems like they were not getting the outcome that they wanted this really hurt them deeply So they could be showing off that they're okay with it all. You know, they're single. They had the outcome that they wanted. This was something that they really wanted to be away from you. But at the back of it all, they're obsessing about this, okay? When it comes to other people in front of others, they're doing so well, okay? They're showing that they have things figured out. They're handling themselves very well. When it comes to work as well, I don't feel like they're affected by this they're doing so well with work but just something in the realms of their mind okay they're obsessing why is the ten of wands here please 
two of wands see but time to time they're looking back and thinking what you guys could be up to and that's when this paranoia or this fears this nightmares is going on they have you a lot in their dreams this is on their own quiet moments aries that they reflect on this they also could be reflecting on a time that they felt burden that they felt it was one-sided that they wanted you so bad but you didn't want them that way okay but they were doing rather extreme things here is what i'm sensing you guys could have been a more balanced person here meaning you have friends and family you have other things that you're passionate about this person wanted you but all to themselves and so it's it's like a zero to a hundred with this person that's how that's why they feel rejected and that's why they feel this energy of they want to show you they're better off you know now we have the star card and the eight of pentacles they feel like this new person that they're with can help them heal but also this feels like you know they're really focused on work they could be busying themselves right now but they're emotionally closed off okay they're emotionally closed off they could just be hanging out with people for companionship or just for showing you guys that they're able to move forward okay let's see let's get one more card ace of wands both ace of wands showing up i feel like this person still has passion for you still has passion for you but it just feels like they're not going to take any action towards this for now okay there's just this energy of wanting to prove something now we have the justice card and the world card at the bottom of the deck okay now they want a sense of justice they want uh you guys to make things right or you to tell the truth as well because we have here the ace of swords they also felt like you were hiding something from them in the past here aries or you were not being truthful so that could have been the reason as to why they put an ending to that relationship or they could have you know cut communication i also sense that this person is now in the process of tying any loose ends okay wow i'm also sensing here that social media with the world wide web the world card and the eight of wands you guys could be getting some information about each other there they could be getting news about you guys also how you guys are doing and it just feels like an ego um clashing here it's like they hear something about you then they you know raise the the stakes higher you know it's a, it's a never-ending battle of the ego is what i'm getting here so but you could be blocking each other off is what i'm getting at this time lack of communication so that's what i'm seeing so far with you guys okay hopefully this resonates let me know if it does thank you so much for watching until the end i'm sending love and light and namaste